Hello YouTube, I am in the middle of Grove Street holding a pistol apparently. Um, we we're having a competition, I have Mattel uh, who just ended his call. Uh, we're going to see who makes the best video about the new donator exchange system and I've obviously I've already won. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, um, F5 is the key that you press to open up this wonderful little menu that you're looking at right now. And it's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know how to use it, go shoot yourself. Anyway, um, <laughs> so on the left here, you have a list of, of hours that are for sale. Uh, and, and other people, you know, it says their account ID, but you obviously can't make heads or tails of that. But anyway, um, these are people that have listed their hours for sale, and then you'll see the price per unit and what they're charging. This guy's charging 100000 per hour. He's a moron. Anyway, um... Really simple. If you've got hours, it'll show up up here at the top, VIP hours. And uh, this little text box here tells you that you had a list them. You can only list three minimum, and you have to do ten thousand dollars minimum. There's no, you can't sell them for under ten thousand each. So, for example, if I had some, I would list uh, like twenty hours for sale, and the price per unit I'd do like fifteen thousand. And then you just hit start selling. Obviously, I don't have any. So it's like, you're trying to sell too many of your remaining hours. Only I have zero. Uh, and then, if you're in the market to buy, because that's what 90% of this system will be used for, to buy, um, you'll come up and you'll select the best deal. Obviously, that's the better deal. I want to buy five of them, so I enter it here. It tells me I'm going to have to pay five fifty thousand five dollars $5. I hit buy, and it didn't work. Or did it work? Yeah, I think it worked. You got to refresh. Yeah, okay. So your hours don't update at the top when you buy. You have to actually close the menu. Open it back. There they are. And it works for F7 as well. That's not F7. Uh, you can now see I have five VIP hours. I can use them here if there were anything for five hours, which there's not. Oh, there is. Vehicle teleport token. Well, I am now going to teleport my car. So that's, that's uh, okay, go away, dude. <laughs> that's how that system works. Um, and so I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy some more just for, uh, the sake of, of, okay. Here's the annoying little thing about MTA. If you click outside the box, then you can't click inside the box. So I'm going to buy, uh, 20 of this guy and that's a lot of money. And now refresh. There we go. Now I've got 20. I'm going to put 10 of those up for sale. Oh, I closed the menu. What a moron. Uh, <laughs> I end up, I'm going to charge, uh, 20,000. Because that's what I feel like mine are worth, and now you see my sale here, ten hours for twenty thousand. Now, neat little feature. I know you're already thinking about it. I'm just gonna buy my hours for myself and alt to alt my money. Actually, no, that won't work. I didn't select it, did I? I'm a retard. Um, oh, it didn't output chat box. Okay. Well, anyway, it's supposed to output chat box. Thank Mattel for not fixing that, but uh, it didn't do it. As you can see, still there. Hit refresh. Still there. So, um, after eight hours, your cell will go off. It will be removed from the list. Uh, this is to keep a fair advantage. You know, we don't want someone coming in, buying a billion hours, selling them as cheap as he possibly can, and then, um, you know, just, you know, dominating the market forever. So, you have to relist it once every eight hours. As you can see, it's pulled from your VIP hour, uh, like what you actually have. Uh, and put into this table, which is now for sale. So if I list my 10 for sale, you can see that there's only, you know, I only have 10 now. Um, after eight hours, that's credited back to your account, as it says right here. It put right back in your VIP hour balance. It does it automatically, exactly eight hours after you listed it. Um, there's no way to cancel your sale, so you have to just either wait for them to all sell, or, um, yeah. <laughs> or you just wait and they come back. Uh, we plan to have a few more features in the later version where we're able to remove these manually. That should have been done this version. I can't argue with that, but um, you know, just be real careful. If you mean if you mean to put a hundred thousand per hour, then make sure you've put a hundred thousand per hour because if you do ten thousand, guess what? They're all going to sell. So, and we have no uh, we have no way of, of removing those at this point. So be careful. <laughs> Anyways, this is the new F5 donator exchange system. There's going to be some more updates coming to it. Obviously, it's not completely done. But this is in the beta stage. And this is great that we're now able to give it a shot, test it out. And uh, this is what Idlewood looks like on a server with no players because this is actually the dev server. 
uh, even though we still have your cars. I, you know what? I, I can't lie. I drive your cars around, all of your cars, and I put thousands of miles on them, and you don't even know it. <laughs> it's just fun. Anyways, guys, I will see you later, and uh, possibly in-game, but don't PM me because I'll kill you. Okay, thanks. Bye.